we're going to look at importing PSD files into Affinity Photo, then enabling PSD writeback for round tripping and interworking with other software. And finally, we'll take a quick look at the advantage of importing PSB files and then saving them into the native Affinity Photo document format. So to import a PSD file, we can either go to File and Open, or we can go out to our File Explorer here, and I have a PSD file ready to go, and I can just drag drop, go back into Affinity Photo, and just release the mouse button anywhere over the interface. Okay, so let's say I wanted to make a change to the colors here. So across on the Layers panel, I'll expand the Shapes group, I'll select this rectangle, Compound Shape. Then on the Color panel, I might just choose a light blue. To make the text match, I'll expand the text group, select this text layer, and then use the color picker, just drag that across, and color pick from the blue. Then just click here to assign that color to the text. Now at this point, if we go to File and Save, we will be presented with a File Save dialog, and this is because we are now going to save into the Affinity Photo document format. Now, for some workflows, this may be fine, but for other workflows, you may need to stay in the PSD file format. One alternative is to use the File Export dialog here, where we have a PSD option for export. This, of course, adds extra steps to your workflow, but what we can do instead is enable PSD writeback. So to enable this, we need to go to Preferences. If you're on Windows, Preferences will be under the Edit menu here. So we need to go to Preferences, then go to the General Options here, and we have this option, Enable Save Over Imported PSD Files. This option is disabled by default, but we can click the checkbox here to enable it. Now, of course, it does come with a warning. If you start to take advantage of Affinity-specific features, like live filter layers, for example, these are not supported in the PSD format, and so they will have to be rasterized instead. But with this in mind, let's close this dialog down, and now when we go to File and Save, it will write back to the original PSD file. So just to demonstrate this, if I go to File, Close, and then I go back out to that PSD file and drag it back in to import it. We can see that the changes we made have been saved back out. Now, as well as PSD, there is also a PSB file format, which exists to support larger file sizes and larger document dimensions. Affinity Photo can import these, but it cannot export them. So let's just close this document down. I'll move back out to my File Explorer, and I'll find this PSB file here and import it into Affinity Photo. So once this PSB file has imported, you will notice that like with the PSD import, the layer structure has been retained. Now what we will do here is save this out to the Affinity Photo document format. So we will go to File, and save as, and let's just put this file on the desktop here and click save. Depending on the complexity, PSB files can be notorious for taking a long time to load. Now we have just saved into the native Affinity Photo document format, and that is structured differently and it streamlines the loading process. So just to demonstrate this, let's close this document down and then we're going to go to File, Open Recent, and reopen that AF Photo file that we just saved to. And this version of the file opens in a matter of seconds. And along the top here, you will see a progress bar. And that is just an indication of a local working copy of the file being created. That is a redundancy measure in case a link to the original file has been lost. For example, you might be working on networked storage and the network volume may suddenly no longer be available. Or you might be working on an external hard drive which accidentally gets unplugged. 
So that was a quick guide to enabling PSD right back for interworking with other software, and also just a quick look at importing PSB files and saving them into the native Affinity Photo document format for vastly improved loading times.